Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're the Champong family and we now make vlogs about our life in Holland. Do you remember <laughs> my lovely cousin who had a whole story? If you didn't see that video, click somewhere here in the screen. And yeah, she today is going to teach me one of the favorite foods of Maika and Sophie Jane, which is Akple and Fetri Dishi. Did no. I say? Akume ku Fetri Dishi. <laughs> Fetri Dishi is okra soup or okra, how, yeah, okra, okra okay. soup. But what's the difference between, let's, let's unpack the things, but what's the difference mm -hmm. between the Akple and the Banku? Because she would like it, but she prefers the the real airway one yeah no we eat banco in togo as well we call that um uh, we call that a scrap <laughs> well is it they will not eat this food they will not eat it ah me i'll eat my own thing share i see you brought everything because anna whenever i cook here in your house you have you, know, you normally don't have anything so I, I literally bring my whole kitchen. I'm always prepared, so. It smells a little weird. Where, where do you buy some? I got it from Ghana. My mother bought it for me. We oh, you got it from Ghana? Uh, uh, right, a uh, harring. So how long can you store this? Oh, for African food, I don't, there's no dying time. We just store it until it's finished. <laughs> this is a uh, cow skin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is real fetri deshi like the way it's supposed to be oh my gosh okay no but i actually like that but what the this is beef salted beef i just have i just bring a little bit just to bring the give the food some this, salty this is flavor. real cooking guys oh please. and what is this this goat meat hey, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. so we're adding goat meat goat skin. no cow skin uh -huh. We are adding um, mackerel. mackerel. We are adding hey. herring, a little bit of herring. Hey. We are adding uh, crab and uh, salted beef, and yeah, that's it. Well, let me explain. Um, so the um, akume is just like benku. That's what you use. Well, now because we're in Holland, I can't find the uh, the maize, so we use grease meal to make the akple. <laughs> okay. But I know how to eat it, that I do. Mm. So, we have to first where do wash we start? Our hands. We have to wash our hands. Oh, sure. COVID proof. COVID proof. Oh. Here you go. So, first, let's start with the meat so we can put it on the fire sure. to steam whilst we, we cut the okra. The first time I made um, soup with um, pig feet or pig food, however, however you say it, and there was still hair. <laughs> do you know how it's kotoje kaish? Ah, it's nice. Ah, oh my God. ah, when you are cooking, you just add some. Oh, you don't know what you are missing. The one that we normally use, it's called Willy. It doesn't have the inside, it's only the it's skin, the and it's very dry okay. and thin and very hard. Mm -hmm. But ah, uh, you couldn't find that one, so I bought this one with the ones that have a little bit of meat. Okay, so it also smells, but it, it smells, but it tastes good. Don't let me insult you in our language. <laughs> you can't understand, so yeah, thank God. No, I can't say ill because I think I will enjoy this. I really, really missed eating this. I haven't eaten it for a very long time, so I'm very happy that you came and thankful. But the ingredients are just... Ooh, something else. We're making the proper, proper one. Don't say that so before people from other African countries come for us. So. Oh, really? <laughs> so, because okra is not only in Togo. Oh, really? So yeah. even okra stew originated from Ewe people? Because I think that they make it the nicest. Oh, don't say that. If people come and come for us, so yes. You come from me anyway, so it's okay. I've eaten okra stew in different household, but I think the one from Ewe. Okay, when we okay, let, okay, let's only take Ghana or Togo for example. Mm -hmm. Then we we'll say yeah, okay. But if we want to talk about Western Africa, there are other Western African countries that. Okay, I've never tasted yeah. it. So where is the okra stew made from? Because I think okra everybody soup. who <laughs> okra soup uh, isn't it stew? No, you have stew and you have soup. You make it. Is so which one do you eat with akule? Well, what we how we eat it with we eat it as soup with akume. Really? Yeah. The soup is thicker. It's like it, it's also 
you also make it with a little bit like with a stew base, like with tomato, you know, stew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You make it stew base, mm -hmm. and but the soup is mainly just with water and just like soupy. Oh, no, 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 I don't like that one. I like the one with pepper, tomatoes, and everything in it. Do you have tomatoes here? It's the same, it okay. tastes, it doesn't taste too different. different. Just, yeah, it's just what I'm a, used to eating mm -hmm. is people who are airway making mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So you mean that okra stew is not originated from Ewe people? It is also Gans and Ashanti who make that. Yeah, everybody makes it. So lately, we have to be political correct. Really? You know? Yeah. Like... But every every person has a staple dish, right? So Ashanti fufu, mm -hmm. Hausa kwache, dark inke, and then fetri deshi mm -hmm. from Ewe. Mm -hmm. So today we are making the real fetri deshi. I guess. Oh Lord, no. Me. Okay, then two for me today, two for me tomorrow. I'm only calculating what I'll eat. Sure. Because, ah, you guys will not come in. Will not come in. Oh, destroy my food. But I'll try it. I'll try it. If you don't try it, now, no problem. Yeah, I'll eat. Okay. Um, You see these ones? I always cut it off. Oh, it will not bite you, Froco. And then these ones, you just, you just sort of. Because it's sharp, right? You don't want it to destroy your, 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 your tongue. That's why when I'm cooking Ghanaian food or African food or whatever, I cook it before I clean, like, like I do my weekly cleaning. Because mm -hmm. you clean and you cook and you clean. Oh! And I normally cook, because I live in an apartment, right? And I don't want my neighbors to be doing like, hmm, hmm, what's that? Mm -hmm. So I normally cook African food like in the morning when everybody has gone to work. <laughs> and I, because I don't want people to be, be but do they what's the smell? No, they don't complain, but like you feel a little bit insecure yourself. Mm. Like people will be like, hmm, smelling, hmm, wow. what's that? Whenever you are coming like, ah, that's the girl who normally cooks some food be and hmm, all land people before they think I'm cooking human beings. You know, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Comment down below. How do you deal with that? Are you ashamed to cook your native food? Like oh. wh whatever you cooking, let me know. Let me you know how to take this one out. No. I, I have don't. to teach you. Ah Anna. I'm a <laughs> okay. Come and stay with me for one week, okay? You come back transform. To be honest, I think I should have learned how to make all these staple dishes in Ghana. When you were in Ghana, yeah. no, but it I was a perfect time. But I was no, uh, you were chilling, you were enjoying life. Oh, I was busy making content. Now, you, guys, hmm? you were there with me, or <laughs> you were you were chilling. I was also chilling. You were chilling, but hard one. You're never too late to learn. No, you're never too late to learn. So, what what made you start doing YouTube? Uh, me? Oh, um, uh, well, I'm into podcasting. Mm -hmm. And um, what is podcast? Some people might not know. Oh, okay. Podcast is basically like radio, but then recorded version, and then you put it online. Along the line, I was like, well, let me go into YouTube. So, so it's, the content that I put on my podcast is the same I put on YouTube. So okay. I record my whilst I'm doing my I'm recording for my podcast. I also record for my YouTube, like as video. What do you talk so, about? being African in the diaspora, what it is, and mm -hmm. for other people who live in Africa or other people who live in the diaspora as well, feel connected and know that there's somebody there, somebody there, there who and goes through the same, the same yeah. challenges. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And I also share my own experiences and experiences of other people as well, because mm. I came here, you know, at a younger age and I wanted to tell people like my journey, mm -hmm. how it started, how, you know, and all those kind of things. So that's what I share. Okay, that's very nice. Sorry, let me be cleaning for you before you beat me. Oh, no, no, don't <laughs> worry. I'm taking it off. But how, how do you have like so heat resistant hands? How, how do people, uh, is that see, something that you grow? If yeah. you see this hand already, you cannot say, if I slap you, you will end up in the hospital. <laughs> My hand is already hard. I've been doing it since, you know, like I lived in Ghana and in Togo. So we cook on a fire, well, not firewood, but like with, on a coal pot. Mm -hmm. So, it's the sort of thing you just learn. You see your mother doing it, and you too. You, you know, you do it, and then it stays. So yeah, my, okay. I'm just used to. Besides YouTube, what do you do? Besides YouTube, I'm a wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you got married during the pandemic. Right? I got married during the pandemic. What's that like? I was supposed to, I wanted to get married in Ghana, so my mm -hmm. parents would be there, my biological parents would be there, mm -hmm. and that would be my first time going to Ghana after, since I came to the Netherlands. So okay, that was the idea. I, that was the whole idea. Mm -hmm. And then, going, you know, we were planning, we got the venue, we got quite a lot. I had a wedding oh, really? planner. Yeah, had a wedding planner. Everything was set. The only thing that was 
not set was the dress who will make my dress and okay. all that but for the rest everything was set wow. we hadn't paid the tango ah go ah mm. the, ah we'll just faint <laughs> and then the pandemic just came like that wow. and we we're all having hope oh it's just something to go you yeah, know? yeah. By, by the time the, the end we wanted to get married in december last year we we're like ah by the time december will come like this oh it's already gone it's already and I still, I still had hope because I'm like, no, regardless, I had hope. I honestly had hope. Mm -hmm. And I, at that time, my husband to be then, he was trying to say like, let's just let, let us look at like other options here as well, just mm -hmm. in case things don't change. It will not be like rushing last minute something. But I didn't want to listen. I just, I wouldn't. So mm -hmm. your dream was to my be dream. Married. Oh, Anna. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get married in the Netherlands, but I'm not gonna wait that long. I'm just gonna do it as soon as possible. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna get rid of all these feelings and all that. The and negativity. The negativity. Because marriage, hmm, a lot hmm. of people nowadays seem to think that marriage is about the party. Oh. It's about everything that starts after. Hmm. <laughs> so hmm. I think it's good. You kept it small. Then we did it in the court, so with okay, like court thirty, house. yeah, courthouse with 30 people wow. max mm -hmm. it was very like I've, even me myself i was shocked i've never been to a wedding like that in my life mm -hmm. i mean being <laughs> africa i mean you yeah. know the bush bush bash we bash you big. know that's what you ah, but it's like white people something You're like ah, what is this mm -hmm. but it was so beautiful our friends and family who came they were also like it was their first time as well oh. everybody was shocked and i was like wow you know, it's good to sometimes embrace Another. other people's culture. Yeah. Not per se, not because it's not your culture. You just frown upon it and be like, nah. So you say you married in a Dutch Yay, way. Anna. What is it? You've spoiled my meat, too. Oh, ma you just murdered it. The thing was already dead. I but was you murdered taking the soul. all the grains out, so making sure there's no in it. But I, I understand it now. It's supposed to be in chunks. Mm, I okay. should have told you, but anyways. My bad. Hey, don't eat too. Because if you start eating this, you finish the whole thing before the food is even ready. It's actually nice, you see? Dutch people food. This is Dutch people food. No, whatever. But the one we use in Ghana is a bit harder than this one. Yeah. Yeah, this one is very, very soft, soft. Especially yeah. because it's also from the supermarket. Mm -hmm. But when you buy it with, uh, by the fish people in the market, it's a bit... Yeah, it's, it, it's a bit firm. So how do you learn to cook? What age do you start cooking? Mm, I was a little older. Like I think I was like um, 14, 15. Oh, you get oh Wow. So what the freedom. The thing is that my mom used to always work in the evenings on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And then I would babysit my brother. Uh -huh. And she would pay you me to do that. She would pay you? Your own <laughs> brother? She would actually pay me. But you know why? Your own brother. She was just too nice. Anyway, then she'll give me 10 euros to buy food and to make dinner with. So as a young girl, I was just, that time, well, I wasn't really into YouTube, but I was just like looking at um, uh, cooking, cooking books. books to see like, okay, what can I make? And I started learning like, but she didn't teach you to so make this. She like, wasn't there. Oh. But how did she expect you to know what to cook? Uh, you read the book and you know. See, I knew a little, little, like I knew how to make pasta and I knew how to make eggs. So yeah, from that on, I started cooking. So I don't really know how to cook African food. I know how to do jollof. That one, I think I managed. Although sometimes- mm, That's your jollof that, no it's, comments. It's no, a com little, no comments, no comments. No sometimes comments. it's a little mushy. The water, that is difficult for me, but no, no, I think no, no I know comment. how to do jollof rice. But I like the Suriname kitchen, I think a little more. And I'm better at cooking that because I have more people teaching me. Teaching you, yeah. yeah, I understand. I understand. And here today, a lot of Suriname people, yes. they really influence our our kitchen as well. Mm, I think so, yes. From yeah, the, I grew up with... Uh, especially from the people who are here now. Here like, now, yeah. Yes. Also, I think all Ghanaian people who live here, mm -hmm. who are born here, mm -hmm. They know how to cook Suriname food, like nasi bami, bami like a staple st Yeah, staple food. food. Yeah, so Brano bona, things like that. I think that. this is just because I have more people to teach me. Yes. Uh -huh. So when did you start cooking? You were in Ghana. In Ghana, I didn't cook. In Togo, I cooked. You cooked from five years old? Going, eh? I have my mother. Wow. When she's cooking, I'll be... You know the papa, the one that you used to blow air in the cold yeah. hand? Mm -hmm. You'll be doing that. 
you say grind this thing for me you go and grind steer this for me you steer so that's wow. how you start learning so my mom was very like the village life uh -huh. my that mom was so very nice. very normal i didn't have to really cook anything special biama mm -hmm. but one day she went to like a, a family house um another family member people's house and mm -hmm. i had a niece there and she cooked for everybody in the house and the mother of that my niece was praising her hey my daughter yeah she can cook she can do this and my mom felt um like ah you your daughter can cook but my daughter cannot cook and i'm a few mm. months older than my niece so my mom felt like it's competition but how old i was like seven seven eight wow literally and my so sophie dear yeah, she's already supposed to, to cook sophie is already supposed to even has hus have a husband prepared for her <laughs> she's <laughs> wow i'm kidding oh, oh. Mm. she's supposed to know how to sweep this house how when you're cooking she'll help you cut everything she'll help you stir mm. when you finish cooking, she'll wash dishes she wipe this place she's supposed to know mm. but but that's the african i i don't know if that's good it's so not it doesn't apply for everybody Sophie, if you're watching this video, huh? No, I'm playing outside every day. Allow her to be a child. <laughs> we were how we, we grew up, we were no children, no, by force. So, what if you get a daughter later on in your life? Mm -hmm. Would you like her to be free and be of course. a child, or would you like her to learn? No, oh, there's time for that. I mean, when you are a child, be a child then because you never have it back, you know. You can always learn how to cook. Okay. And I'm not going to say when you're 18, that's what I'm going to teach you how to cook. But mm -hmm. you sort of know that, oh, this is, you know. When I'm cooking something, you come and watch and see and ask questions. I'll explain things to you. But so now you have to cook. You have to live by force, mm -hmm. by fire. No, no. Oh, that's good. That's sad. Okay. Ah, do you know how I used to cry? You see my friends playing outside and I'm, I'm there frowning my face. Oh. <laughs> Helping my mom. Oh. You know, put air in the cup. Just because your mom felt like she, oh she yes, had competition. Competition. Oh, so wow. yeah, she came home that day. I remember that. I remember like it happened yesterday. She came home and as usual, I was going to, I was running to hug and be like, oh welcome. Hey, hey, don't touch me. At this your age, you don't even know how to cook. Do you know the embarrassment I just faced? I was like, wow, ah, what happened? What did I do? Wow. Hey, even your little uh, your cousin. And your how little old cousin, were you? Seven, eight, something wow. like that. Even your little cousin, she could, do you know who cooked for me to eat today? She, she cooks for everybody now. So you, all you know how to do is play, play, play. Oh, oh since that day, whenever she's cooking, hey, they like come, <laughs> stare this, stare that, oh. cook it like this, cook it like that. See how it's smelling? That's when you know that ah, it will be nice. If it doesn't smell, know what you're about to cook is not nice. Are you sure? If it smells, you're like mm hmm. Oh, that mixture actually smells nice. Like what? Uh, the rosemary and the. Ah. Yeah. What? It's to season the. Kintiki. What? Hey. In kete in kete in kete kete. Yeah, that's in chui and in uh elsewhere it's nu hon hon. Yeah, yeah, I can't say that. No Could you just say ani? Nu hon hon. Literally meaning something that smells. Oh. And kete in kete is meaning uh small small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally just small small. It's, it's much more easy than elsewhere. It seems such a very difficult language. I know. It so, seems, how many languages do you speak? Um, I speak Ewe, I speak Chui, I speak Ga, I wow. speak Dutch, I speak English, and a little bit of French. My French That's is very good. Fifty percent now. Yeah. So some people, in my family also speak Ga. So in our house, we speak Ga, Chui, and Ewe. Like those three languages are mm, mainly spoken in, in our family house. So okay. I knew how to speak a little bit of Ga before I came here. And then whilst I live with family here, yeah, they were all they all use they all speak Ga, so I learned it from them. Ga is the Toyota. Toyota. Mm -hmm. So that's what my dad speaks whenever he talks to his brothers and his sisters. His brothers and sisters. Oh, but yeah. it seems so difficult. Like I can't hear anything what he said. Yeah, and you see, it has sometimes it has also like the same clunk or tonations as Elwe, you know? Oh really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just find it. You know that go go pa po bang bang. You know we have yeah, the same yeah. thing in LA as well. So. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not a tutorial. No, we are just cooking and chatting. Chatting, yeah. Ah, me, I mean, I can't teach you how to cook. Oh. Then, what is this lady called? Sweet Ajele. Sweet Ajele. Yeah. Madam, if you are watching, the way, the way my God will bless you. Oh, ah. do you like her? Ha! Ah, what is like? I Love. Should, I should visit her in Ghana once because she took my name. Or ah. she's younger. She's older than me. Yeah, she's older than you. No, I'm I sure. have her name. So definitely one day we should meet. Ah. 
Maybe that some you can teach me another dish. As long as I read a comment and some people will say, oh, you literally saved my marriage. And I'm like, oh, really? wow. And because I was like, she cooks. She cooks. Hey, the cooking in African it's, culture it's a, yeah. is different. Eh? But why does she live in Ghana or No, in else? US. Do you know you make uncle shoe or soup without uh, the red oil? I've never tasted that before. I think Do that people? one is even nicer. Really? Yeah, it's very seafoody. You know, you really oh. make it seafood, seafood. Okay, guys, this is like the final result, almost. I think it needs to cook a little bit more. Yeah, the Just spinach. Just on the stove a little, yeah. But it looks very delicious. So let us know in the comments how you think we did. Um, we now have to go and pick up the kids. Jackie, thank you for cooking. The kids, we're still at this cooking business. So this is the, what's it again? The grease meal. So like a So it's not the acle. No, you, I use another meal because here you can't get the oh. meal like, yeah, so I use Guys, meal. anybody who comes from Ghana, can you bring the apple for me? This is what I want. You see the African movement, it's like she's dancing. Chum, <laughs> chum, 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 chum. The way this is high. Oh, and because of Anna, we have lumps all over in the food. This is not my fault though. <laughs> I'm trying. I, this is why African women are so strong. Okay, food. It takes very long. Like we were here the whole afternoon, and it is very tiresome. Oh, I think what is doing your body? It's finished. It's finished. But how? Okay, cook yeah. like this. Hey, <laughs> and it burns you. But how are you? You are moving your body as if someone, something has some sickness is doing you. Yes. Hey, you that you break, don't come and break your arm. No. Hmm. I don't want your father to come and beat me. Hey, this boy is strong. This is boy. More power, Mika. Power, power. Jackie, this looks delicious. Thank you, love. I see you are ready for the food. I'm over. I'm You're eating for five people. A meeting for 10. For your village. <laughs> oh, we are going to enjoy you guys. Make sure you subscribe to Jackie's channel if you want to hear more about the Every Talk podcast. Oh, sorry. I thought I Oh, don't worry. We are hungry. We are even, it's like 5 o'clock now. So it's not oh. dinner time, but we are hungry. So catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. You're eating it with a spoon, Micah. Oh, my G. It's good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy.